Oh, hold on. Adjusting. What's up, YouTube? So today I wanted to do like a 90s blowout slash supermodel hair type of moment type of vibe. Right now, I just straightened my hair and I did this like cut crease type of makeup look. It's like Lana Del Rey, like dark coquette inspired makeup. And I just thought that like a blowout, like bouncy hair would kind of like go with it. Basically, I'm gonna show you how to do it with a straightener also since I literally can't stand how loud blow dryers are and I don't have like the coordination to be using both hands and like doing my hair. That just sounds literally insane. I've tried it a thousand times and it's like, it's crazy. So yeah, so I started with just like an easy little like straighten. It's not exactly perfect, like the ends aren't completely straight. And I didn't put any hair product in besides like my heat protectant and leave-in conditioner. If you want to know how I straighten my hair, I just did a tutorial so you can go check that out. It's gonna be somewhere up here. But yeah, so I busted out the curlers. I'm honestly hella excited, a little nervous because rollers are kind of like, they're a little, a bit of a challenge. I think I got this from Amazon, but basically it's got like the pink roller, which is like a big roller, and then it's got like a little medium sized roller, which is purple. Uh, so I think I'm gonna be using both of them. So basically, I'm gonna start sectioning my hair. I'm gonna do it in thirds, so I'm gonna leave like the bottom third out. So then, hey. Now I'm basically gonna just start like sectioning my hair. So I split it in half down the center and then I'm gonna split these into sections. Basically like the smaller the section, the better it'll turn out. I think I'm gonna keep the sections about like this big. I don't know if you can see, really like not too thick. I'm gonna be curling everything towards my face. You wanna take your time. You don't wanna press too hard to where it gets like caught in the straightener. Like you want it to be able to curl smoothly. And now basically you got like a little curl. And then you wanna start at the bottom of your hair and just start rolling up. And you wanna make sure all of it is attached. And then you just wanna clip it. Okay, this robe is not cooperating right now. Actually, instead of using this, I'm gonna find a different hairspray because I just realized it's like a wax, so it's kind of like sticky. So instead of that, I'm gonna actually use this Moroccan oil hairspray and it does give shine. It's like a luminous hairspray. So brush, curl, spray, and roll up. And basically, you just keep doing that until you get all the way done with the section. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering why I wasn't curling and this whole time it's been off. So make sure your straighten is on first the wall. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, that curled like way better. So for the bottom section, I'm gonna use really big rollers just because I want length. I don't want it to be like too short. I think I have to stand up for this. Don't mind how I tied this. It literally wasn't holding like any other way, so. Okay, so we got the first section done. And then for this second third, I think we're still gonna curl towards the face. But for this section, I'm gonna use all medium size rollers. And I don't have like too many hair clips. So I'm really just using like any type of hair clip possible. So they're not all like the same hair clips throughout my entire head. Okay, <laughs> looking crazy. So basically I'm gonna start from the back, like on the top. So I got like this middle section, I mean the top section, like this. I'm gonna pull the rest forward and clip it. And then I'm gonna split these into two sections and then curl them like that. I think for these ones, I'm gonna go away from the face. Okay, I think I just did these like in two different directions. I think I actually ended up doing this one like towards my face technically and this one like away from my face. But 
this is the way I wanted to do it. And you really want to make sure that it really like curls. So like if you feel any strands like getting left out, like they're not in the plates, then you have to like go back and recurl them so that they're all fully curled like this. I'm telling you this shit is not easy. See how there was like this little straight piece? Like you want to make sure you get all of the hair, no strand left behind. Okay, now for the last section, it's basically like the bangs. I want to curl them towards my face also. Um, and I only have big rollers left, so we're just going to have to make that work. Alright, I'm looking crazy, but we got, I'm pretty sure, the whole head pulled up. Oh my god, this shit was like a workout, like, you have no idea. I don't even know how we got here, to be honest. I don't know. My nails match. Now I'm gonna just let this sit, I'm gonna eat some dinner, because I honestly only ate breakfast today. And it is already 8.30, so I'm gonna eat dinner, that's gonna give this, like, enough time to do its thing and marinate in these rollers. I was really battling demons trying to get this like all together like it's honestly looking crazy already. I feel like some of these are falling, I don't know. Hopefully it's gonna come together <laughs> when I take these all out. But I guess we'll see what this looks like. I feel like George Washington had better rules than this. That's crazy. Alright. Okay, so I just ate. I'm gonna take these out. Oh my god, which ones do I start with first? I'm gonna start with the first, first, first one. Bye. Okay, first of all, I've already tied this shit like three times. I don't know how it's still falling. Um, she's giving a cute little curl. I didn't want these ones like super curly. That's why I did the like the big rollers on these ones. So not exactly mad about this right now, but honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen with the rest of them. I hope these other ones are about to be like a little curlier. Oh, I think this one was the one with the wax. It was. Look how like it literally looks like glued together. I'm telling you, hair is just like really not. <laughs> It's not for me to be honest, but this girl looked cute. Okay, I think, I think, I think there is some potential. I'm not gonna lie though, I feel like this is, cannot be good for your hair. I don't know if it is or not, but the way it's pulling is making me think that it's not. But she cute though. Make sure I'm not flashing you guys again. Does give any curl? Kind of, but not really. Okay, maybe I take it back on the potential. I mean, it's giving like volume and like a pretty wave. Okay, it honestly gave like some wave. I think cause also my hair doesn't really have like, like that crazy layers anymore. Like the layers are honestly like super grown out. I think that might have something to do with how it turns out. But the volume is definitely there and the waves is there. We'll see if this was actually worth it. Okay, so I just put some hair oil in. I used the Seda Pure Silica Professional Fruit Oil. I don't know, it's from Mexico, honestly. But it works really good. It means your hair super shiny. Yeah, this is basically like the results. What do you think? <laughs> I'm not really too loose. I guess it's cute. This is the final hair look. Um, I feel like this is as good <laughs> as it was gonna get anyways. I wasn't really convinced. Honestly, I don't know. I was kind of hoping for a little more curl, but it's still is giving volume and it's still cute. It's still cute. It's still like a level up from like regular like straightening. I feel like it's definitely still giving like super mono hair. I'm not sure if I would do this again because I feel like for the amount of stress and time and effort, blood, sweat, and tears that just went into this whole look, I'm not sure if it was worth it. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> Hope you have a good day. Mm -hmm.